Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Frank Mong. And the security landscape is is an ever-evolving place. And, and uh, I, maybe you can't say this is HP, but I am sort of of the opinion that most companies should assume they've already been breached. I would agree with you, actually. Um, I think things have definitely changed and evolved over the last eight years. We went from script kiddies to website defacement for fame to now a highly organized ecosystem of specialized hackers from nation states to hacktivists to cyber gangs online where the motivation is different. It's no longer a game of, oh, who's king of the mountain? Who's got the most skills to hack? It's now about, hey, how much money can I make by specializing what I do? And, that, and you're rewarded for that specialization. And that's created a lot of problems for a lot of our customers and a lot of companies out there uh, that have been dealing with these breaches in recent news. Um, they're not dealing with the problem from the perspective of we've had our, our adversary is actually an ecosystem, uh, a, a well-organized ecosystem with highly specialized professionals that are hurting us. We're still throwing silver bullets and new widgets, new technologies at the problem without really addressing well what's the ecosystem look like? Where strategically are they attacking us and how do we deal with this situation better I think that's that's uh, in a nutshell a lot of the problems that we are faced with today in cybersecurity so how do people deal with the situation better than they yeah. have currently been yeah you know there's there's I would say it's a people skills in a process issue first first you got to have security professionals with experience that understand the psychology of the attack and understand the motivations behind it and they're able to take that experience and and use a really strong and, and nimble process to deal with that. Um, once you have those two things figured out, then, then you bring in the tools, the technologies that we build at HP uh, to help them, help them uh, deal with the situation. So we're announcing some of those tools today. The HP Atala encryption solutions for both the secure encryption on-premise with servers, as well as cloud, HP Atala cloud security for securing cloud interactions, uh, and of course, one of the hardest problems is really understanding what is important and what is not important and what's valuable and not valuable in my environment and, and how do I encrypt that. So with HP Atala information protection and control, we're able to help our customers uh, figure out what to encrypt and then provide that tracking and tagging at the creation of uh, the document. So it could be email, it could be intellectual property, it could be designs, it could be your videos that you consider to be good, like proprietary artwork for you as a creative professional. And we can help you decide, well, is this important for you to encrypt? And if so, how do you want to handle that through the evolution of your video? So your video might be in raw format here that goes into a server in your office or in the cloud, but then you may transform that into YouTube or you may transform that into another media uh, format for somebody else to use. How do you ensure that that is maintained as Jake's, right? How is that Jake's IP? How do you track that? And that's what we can do for you, for example. So how do you help people get around uh, figuring out what is and isn't important? Because I imagine yeah. if you went to a CEO and you yeah. said, what part of your data do you want to protect? They're going to say all of it. Yeah, it, it's, it's a tough problem. Um, what we've seen uh, from a large enterprise perspective is we go into an environment and it usually starts at a departmental level, uh, especially uh, departments that have to deal with a lot of compliance regulation or they have a lot of audits where they have to prove to auditors that they're compliant with the rules that were given them. And so these folks in these departments really have to think about, well, what is critical? What, it, what, what am I going to be asked to show? What is considered uh, to be private or sensitive information? And that really is a beginning of sort of the journey uh, through what's important, what's not important. So after you've sorted out what's important and what's not important, it yeah. sounds like you've got two solutions that help uh, kind of protect things, and that, that's the on-premise solution and the cloud solution. Yeah. How does that play in after the decision is made? How, how are those implemented? Yeah, so there's three, actually, in, including the IPC product. Uh, well, and so in each one of these situations or scenarios, uh, there's different use cases. You know, we, we just talked about a use case of your videos uh, and being able to secure and encrypt your videos, but then track where your videos are going, who's using them, and of course, if others are using it and they hadn't paid you for your intellectual property, you can go collect copyright you know, royalties, right? And those are the things that we can help you with uh, from IPC, Atala IPC perspective. Uh, the other areas around cloud, especially cloud interaction, uh, that's a really interesting use case where a lot of enterprises today store data on-premise partially and then there's a hybrid model where they leverage cloud. And it could be private cloud or public cloud. And in those situations, most companies want to figure out and maintain control of their data. Um, for a number of reasons. 
And that's where we can help them with our cloud security service, where uh, they can subscribe to our service and we'll help them manage the keys, allow them to encrypt that data in the cloud. Um, and the cloud provider will have a partial key the creator of the data owns a key so that we can really contain the situation, kind of like a safe deposit box in the cloud for them. Now, I know one of the, the big challenges that uh, encryption has typically faced is that it can slow down uh, information, yep. reads and writes. Is this, yep. is this something that you guys address with this product as well? Yeah, so in our on-premise solution where we've integrated with the HP ProLiant servers, uh, we've taken the performance problem out of the equation. What we do, we've done is we've offloaded encryption capabilities onto a host, host adapter card. So it's a card that has a hardware acceleration on it that will make sure that the encryption performance, whether it's encrypt or decrypt, is handled uh, by the card and doesn't hit the performance of the server or the drives or the hard drives that's running. So we've completely offloaded that.